Yo, what's going on guys? We're back with the Crew Motor Fest. And we're here in the, I don't even know what this is. This is like the, well, it's like the main stage area, kind of like the opening kind of like scene. They don't have like, you know, the houses anymore like that. Um, like how they had it in the crew too, but we're back here. So excited to be back in the Crew Motor Fest. We're gonna switch it up because I know we've been driving the Hellcat for the longest. We've been in so much love, but we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna change to a different vehicle here. We are gonna go with. Playlist cleared and ready for takeoff, driver. Um, I, I'm really feeling. I'm really feeling the Bugatti. I'm feeling Sharon. I think that's what we're gonna go with. We gotta go to the hypercars. Ah, uh, there we go. Ooh, I kind of say it would be nice to drive around. Uh, nah, I said Bugatti. We're gonna go Bugatti. We need to get the regular Sharon. I like the regular Sharon. All right, let's go. We got some upgrades for it. Let's check out the upgrades. What upgrades do we have for this? Okay, we got some some brakes. We have the motor core 785. We'll put that on there. And then we have the new exhaust. So, oh wait, and some new tires. Oh, that's a big, oh well, depending like, you know, because of our Jesco, I think our Jesco is like a good, um, I want to say it's probably around the same thing, like around 753 performance level, but let's go. Today, we are going to be doing, should we do the American Muscle now? No, last time we said we weren't going to do it, um, depending on which place we actually can do, because we have to own certain vehicles. So for like the Lamb, like I don't even think we're ready for the Lamborghini one. Um, because we need, I think, I think, I think we don't have a Diablo. Oh, let's see. Let's see which one we need. Oh, we don't have a mirror. So we need a mirror. Um, how much is a mirror? Let's see. 400k. That's not bad. We'll, we'll drop 400k on that. We got the mirror now. I like that blue. I'm feeling the blue. So let's go for it. 400k. Boom, bam. Y'all know when it comes to the crew, uh, Motor Fest, like, it's a lot harder to earn, like, cash. Well, at least in the crew, too. I haven't had a bad issue earning money here in the in the crew Motor Fest, but after a while. Playlist unlocked. All clear for you to indulge in, driver. Oh, my God. I almost forgot how to shift in this game almost for a second. What's All right, up, so. Buttercup? We are going there. All right. You got it, Let's driver. go. Motivation so I guess we're driving the mirror. The mirror. A full-on automobile Lamborghini experience. You heard me right. The best Lamborghini Already models waiting for you right here on the island. I really cannot wait to get the Ravelinato Lamborghini. I don't even, I never know how to pronounce the cars. Power, innovation, edgy design, and flashy colors are what makes Lambo stand out. Yeah. But as you'll see, there's so much more to it. Ever since its inception over 60 years ago, Lamborghini has been going from triumph to triumph. Now, the Motorfest gives you a chance to experience the legend and to write its next chapter here in Hawaii. It is also a perfect chance to embrace the local summer vibe and make this the party of a lifetime. All right, we're arriving. I think since I've gotten like a little break from Kara, I think she's like a less annoying. Lamborghini's all about? Yes. Buckle up. 
This is going to be one hell of a day. Got a couple events here. This should be fun. Six feats unlocked. Seven photo ops and fast traveling to container unlock. So that's really cool. So let's go to the first event. First event is a little bit of a drop, but nonetheless, we are gonna get there. I let's really do to another hope activity. that they. Uh, um. I really hope that they, they bring the SVJ to uh, the crew mode of awesome That is just gonna be it's like. First and foremost, a story. Oh my a god, story it's gonna be that so amazing. With a genuine passion for sports cars, and with one clear goal in mind to create the best supercars. Vehicles that can go head to head with the cream of the crop. How fast? How long will it take us to go these five, five and a half miles? But the crew has been, uh, it's been such a great game so far. I think like when you're driving around, some of like the MP NPC cars are a little like frantic. They kind of move weird or they make very uh, out of the blue turns and whatnot. Powerful, elegant, unconventional. The Mura is a car that reshuffled the cards among sports car manufacturers. But yeah, like they kind of, they'll just randomly just go left like that. <laughs> And crash into so you just like that. It's so mandatory. weird. But that's also part of the challenge, right? Almost there, a mile left to go. We haven't even got there yet. Creating a legend. Let's drop into it. When we drop the mirror here, it says we, they loaned the vehicle to us, but why do we have to buy it then? I don't know what that's about. Such an iconic lineup of cars. And we're gonna be driving the mirror. I think we're gonna be driving each one of those vehicles in, in each event for this particular playlist. Oh, it's a mirror based event. Okay, cool. Let's go. We got our stock mirror. We're gonna be doing. Uh, I don't have, I don't particularly have the shifting issue with this car. Like how I 
that with the Hellcat and the, um, uh, what is it? Jesco. I think, oh, we also have a clean driving, um, cash bonus as well, so we also got to try to drive as clean as possible, but they've been trying to bump into us in the, at the beginning of the race. Okay, easy little pass, easy little two passes. On me, that was on me. Ah, bad shift. Ooh, let me try to. Don't forget the clean driving bonus. Yeah, no, Carl. Oh, they're they're really coming through. They're not even following the rules for real, for real. Impressive. Oh my God, get away from me! Lap two, you gotta get ahead. Great overtaking. There we go. Looks like we're gonna be making maybe an extra 4,400 in cash if we don't hit anything else. I could definitely say I love the Cruise Motor Fest. Car engine sounds better than uh, Ford, like Forza and whatnot. I nice think out the wild. As they add like new cars. Like I typically like to keep like the stock engine that's already in the car, but when you're trying to do like you know different builds and whatnot, you kinda get the same engine sound from all of them. I mean like yeah, like you got different, you got different leaders of V10s, V12s, V8s, and whatnot. But I kind of like how in Motorfest you really can do engine swaps. You know, you just kind of get the speed that you already have. You know, you can upgrade it, you can make it faster and whatnot. But you essentially just keep the same engine sound. I just love that. I love how we don't have to do an engine swap to, you know, necessarily be like the fastest car in the game and whatnot. Just the way Lamborghini did it back in the 60s. That was just the beginning. Easy little win. Nothing too bad, nothing too shabby. Got some street parts. Okay. Awesome. I think the custom mode is. I haven't tried the custom mode, but once you complete like a playlist, no time to rest on your laurels. They usually going, um, there's a um, custom mode. I guess that's when you can Adaption. use like your own car that you choose to race in. I guess I think. And Lamborghini knows all about it. The first race got you in the mood. Well, let's strike the iron when it's hot with the legendary Lamborghini Countach 5000 Quattro Valvole. Let's go Successor for it. The Countach is the first awesome Lamborghini, but it clearly is the manufacturer's first superstar. A car that would leave a permanent mark in hearts and minds all around the world. The definite embodiment of Lambo identity that had set the tone for the brand's future. But you know, she has some good information here and there. She just talks a lot. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Designs. Take good care of that Kuntash. It is so much more than just a car. And I finally realized once you once you complete feats, you just usually push like like B on the controller. I'm, I'm not sure where it's on keyboard or play, and I think I think on PlayStation and Circle. But once you do a, a feat and you're doing like manual shifting, you have to push like Y to shift. Just push Circle first or B to avoid resetting the feat or going for like another try. Go. 
I'm loving all of these lambs, but I'm really excited to get to that Urus. Love you. So I guess we got to do, we're doing more of, oh, outrun the clock. We're doing a, a, it's like a time trial checkpoint kind of thing. I love how I have to use the knife just kinda like kinda like calms down or like this, the fire is spitting. It makes that little like rumbling kind of sound. This game is just like absolutely beautiful. Like I think the sun and like and how they um Make the shine off the cars and just off the um, actual street, the trees. It's just it's all like super gorgeous. But then again, like this is a smaller map, like compared to um, this is just one state compared to like them trying to do like multiple states in the crew two and whatnot. I got back into um, oh my god, Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Uh, I thought we were gonna keep our clean driving bonus, but I guess not. But I got back into Crew 2 and coming from the Crew Motorfest, I was like, wow, the Crew Motorfest looks so much more beautiful. Like the colors and whatnot. All of it just looks absolutely amazing. I think when we're coming around the corners, like feels like the car has like um, at moments it feels like it has like a lot of downforce but then it can also kind of get a little tricky yeah see like right here like and we're kind of lacking because we don't want time to run now I think we should be fine though to be honest See, we're not even trying to jib, drift. It's just kind of... You can tell just kind of just doing it on its own. Yeah, I had to let... I completely let go of the gas just right there. I knew if we didn't let go of the gas, it was going to be... I was going into the wall. Couldn't save ourselves that time. Trying to get a, you're trying to get used to this shifting in this car, but it. Doesn't matter because we are at the finish. Unparalleled power and design. That's the Lamborghini Countach for ya. Love it. I think I like the mirror a little bit better. The mirror has a little bit more control, especially when it's going to going into those corners and whatnot. But still, such a solid car, the Countach. We might just be like a Diablo, but I think it's a SV. Shoot, I think it's a SV. Our Lambo party goes on. Chapter 3, Leading Edge Technology. I'm going to say never, because they're going to keep asking that. We got a G. I think it's going to be yes to GT. 
We're just top three objective. Our objective is always number one. Then it's just the same intro. It's the same intro every time. He's just gonna introduce like the the yellow. Oh, we got some Ferraris. We got a Firebird here. We got a Porsche next to us. I thought. I think I see. Yep. It's a Porsche. He almost crashed into me. Nice driving. Keep at it. I'm driving so well, I'm not trying to hit any of the barriers. I'm trying to keep our clean driving up. That did not help me. I wish I could drive this good. There we go, come on. Let's get to it. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Mike. Let up. Let's go. Got a Tessa Rosa in the front. Driving skills worthy of a Lamborghini. Bad. We're gonna need that Lamborghini back. Ah. They're hitting my car on purpose. Cause truthfully, they're not even paying attention to the driving line. They're just trying to get the best advantage that they possibly can. Oh my god. Of course that light, that lamp, lamp post had to be there. This is probably like the lowest we've gotten so far. I don't think we've been under. We've been under four thousand dollars for extra clean job bonus. See what I'm saying, bro? They really could. All right, bro. They really doing the most, bro. Like they, the game knows what it's doing. This is where I got this is where I got messed up last time. So coming in too fast and didn't realize it was a corner. Skip out of there. Great job, but the journey is far from over. Ready to take it another legendary bull? I'm sure you won't be disappointed. You've handled the three most iconic Lambos of the 20th century. Now it's time to step into the third millennium. design is based on the hexagonal shapes of the carbon atom, fused with the unmistakable flavor of Lamborghini. Central, streamlined, and powerful, the Hurricane embodies Lamborghini's ascent to new heights. Refined and modern as always. Hold on to your seat. Chapter 4, Lambo sets the trends. Trailblazing forever. I cannot approach a um, an event without hitting something. Never, never that. 
I'm getting Huracan LP610 for outrun the clock. Let's go. Love these rolling starts. I think this one should be good. I think maybe we'll have a little bit more control over like turns. Might focus more on like straight line speed. But when it comes to turning, you might not be super good at turn, which might it can be probably like the thing I'm looking for actually. So I wanted to go into a drift mode, and that's exactly what I think what it's doing right now is it's keeping that straight line. And when it comes into corners. It's still keeping that straight. Look at that sun. The sun is beautiful. So nice. No! Oh my god, bro, what? Oh my god, we were so perfect. We gotta at least get one event where we get the complete 4500 for clean driving. I literally didn't see it until like the last second coming into that turn. time makes it a lot a lot more easier to come in, going into, uh, into corners and coming out of them yeah it doesn't go into a drift mode when you come around corners super fast Two hundred, still not worse than our last event. We got uh, thirty-eight, thirty-eight hundred dollars. The stunning hurricane, the Lamborghini that took the twenty-first century by storm. Real quick, real easy. Good time with the hurricane. I like that one. I like that. All right. No time to rest on your laurels. Oh, Keep going, driver. I think we're getting. I think we're doing the the years next. Lamborghini has always been about looking forward. They don't only create great cars on the cutting edge of technology, but they're willing to go above and beyond with each new model. So weird having like the left trigger the the drift button. Take it's the like Urus, for example. All whack it's me. the first SUV made by Lamborghini. Described as an SSUV, super sport utility vehicle. A vehicle that mixes the soul of a supercar with the functionality of an SUV, giving you the freedom to take on terrain you've never explored before. Yeah, the, the Euro is different. Like I've never driven one in real life, but if I've seen them in real life and they are just beautiful, really beautiful, like slick design. Like a lot of people say they don't like them. They're like, eh. 
I love the Urus. You got it. This party continues with chapter five. A new kind of beast. But I don't know what it is. I, I think I'm loving more and more like superpower SUVs, like my track hogs, the Urus. I guess you can put the G63 in there. SUV style, I guess. But the Euros has to probably be my favorite SUV. Or that that um the Audi Q8 RS edition, the RS Q8. That thing's what 540, 540 horsepower. That thing sounds absolutely amazing on the road. We got this nice yellow, like kind of like orange, kind of like color going on. Ooh. Oh, that thing too clean with the black. Oh, yeah. We gotta cop the Eurus. We gotta cop it. Oh my god. Come on, y'all. Watch out. Alright. They are playing dirty, bro. I don't like that. Gotta get ahead of these guys. We also gotta save up some nitrous. Wow. Man's has like man behind me has like a full package of nitrous like Wow, that's some pro driving here. I guess they're not using nitrous when they're coming out of like corners like I am. It's funny because you can hear them when they're using nitrous. They did a really good job with the engine sounds. I'm trying to capture the engine sounds as close to the real deal. That thing sounds amazing. And it looks beautiful. You can't tell me the yours is not like a masterpiece. It's just looks beautiful it sounds beautiful it is just like the complete package and I don't even know what car we're gonna get for completing the playlist but if we don't get a Eurus we're gonna buy a Eurus because we is oh my I love this car Thank you for forgetting that we can do like a cockpit view. Ooh, if they add the G-Wag, if they add the AMG G63 as part of the car pack, that's gonna be too hard. I'm gonna go stupid in that. I'm pretty sure it sounds very close to the the Euros to be honest. The G Wagon has a really like low vibration, like a, well done, that low rumble sounding no exhaust. Style. Ooh, that thing sounds nice. Oh my god, I'm in love. Yeah. 
definitely one of my favorite Lamborghinis. Not my favorite, but one of my favorites. No time to rest on your own. In 2022, the Countach was reborn as the new Countach LPI 804. The party turns 100% Italian for this event. Here comes chapter six. Lamborghini lives forever. Achieving immortality. I think this might be a one on one racing Maserati here. Yeah. I think it's a one on one. Easy little one on one. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, it's a, it's a four person race. Can we keep our crane driving this time? That'd be great. Ah, uh, no way. There we go. Hopefully we can keep it. For as long as possible. Yeah, see, they're just hitting. Oh my god. Nope. Oh my god, bro. They're so annoying. They're just hitting everything. They're not even driving good at all. You're a natural driver. We needed two more dollars to be a complete clean driver. And we couldn't do it because somebody wanted to bump our, 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 um, our trunk. But it's okay though. I think we'll have one more event to do out, out, um, outrun the clock. One more chance, I think, at least. At least one more chance. Then we have like- No time to rest on your laurels. Keep going, driver. And we have like two or three more of opportunities to test out your pro skills throughout the motor fest. But today, you're doing it with Team Lamborghini. I was like, yeah, we're gonna fly over there. Often see Lamborghinis as clean street cars, but tend to forget that Lambos have everything it takes to race official. They've proven their might multiple times. The place, the Hanama racetrack. The car, the Lamborghini Ascensa. The mood, pro gig. Can we land it? Can we land the, um, yep. We can do it, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. All right, the Assessna, Assessna, I think that's how you pronounce it. SC B12. Reach top three. I think it's gonna be a more track based race. That's cool. Can we please keep our clean driving here? Trying to stay on the, the, out the outside. Uh, okay. I think at this point I'm just over it. 
Yeah, I just got the way. Cause at this point, they don't want me to win. They don't want me to be a speed driver. Nicely done. I'm so sorry. I'm really trying to avoid everybody for now at this point. They just won't let me be great. I'm not here for it. I've seen their interview before. Oh, so it's pretty much just like a, a really advanced racing steering wheel. I feel like this is the first car I've ever seen uh, with like a digitalized like middle screen. Like some of them have like like digital like little odometer like points and whatnot, but this one is like it's like a full digitalized. So it's like the tire pressure, the gear, the RPMs. Or maybe I just haven't paid attention to other cars' interior where they might have like a digital steering wheel. <gasps> no. Oh my god. I thought we were going to get. Uh, I thought we were going to get. 4399 but they didn't want to be great. Told you. Lamborghini the streets and the race tracks. Yeah, that is kind of hard. I mean, I like world. that one. I haven't tried the SV SCV 12 and 4 so yet. I still have to try that. It's been out for a while. I guess we automatically What a win. The first of many, I am sure. Back in our head, I guess. Not by choice. This is it, driver. The final show of our Lamborghini experience. Oh wow. I was so focused on the beauty of the Hellcat. Yeah, that Sian that Sian is really nice. I like that one. Too. I guess you get the idea. To your side, Lamborghini's oh fastest gosh. models of all time. It couldn't be any other way. Wow. Welcome to Lamborghini. See, look how they drive. They just kind of be all over the place. Bullet train speed. You knew this was coming. Final chapter. Lamborghini celebration. This is gonna be, I think, it's gonna be one. this with a bang. One v one, maybe. I think. I could be lying though. Reach out three. It's a big race. Will we get the clean driving here? We probably cannot. But they're gonna find a way to mess it up for me, even if it's one dollar off or one crew credit. I guess. But it's in that blue with that. 
kind of like oranges, bronzes kind of color mix at the bottom. I love it. They're like all over the road. Like I just need them to be in like a straight, perfect line for most part. Oh yeah, this is right here. There we go. Driving skills worthy of a Lamborghini. No, no, don't you! Oh, you must! Oh my God! Wow! Y'all are really wow, bro. What? Oh my God! Y'all are hitting my car on purpose. All right, let me save up my knife, bro. Cause I'm not having it. I'm not fooling with y'all, bro. I'm not doing it. But in our defense, we had two we had two moments where we could have gotten two moments to be clean and be outrun the or the checkpoints last time trials. But we just didn't come. Um, we didn't come complete. Alright, that is lap one down. I'm gonna build up some nit some nitrous. We're going to the answer here. Auto finish. That's how you ride the lightning. Let's go. I'm really excited to see what car we're gonna get. I don't even know which car it is. But car's gonna tell us on the way before we even get there, so I'll know in a second. Good job, driver. New challenges lie ahead. The Cian is astonishing, isn't it? With that car. You got to see Lamborghini at its peak, with all the promise that came with it. The perfect final act to this playlist. See what I'm okay. talking about? The show is not quite over. I'm in the far I mean, right lane. What's a good story without a teaser for what could be next? That's right. We have one last surprise for you before you reach the container. I said they got one last part before we use the container. I don't know what that is. Did I hear that correctly? Automobili Lamborghini. Epilogue. Always going for more. more okay because i was like yeah they're gonna let us try the river the river Nalto. right yeah that's why you said let's do it i 
All right, do we have one more chance to be the top dog and do clean driving? Can we do it here? We just, we have a lot of open road here, so we might have the opportunity to do it. There's literally a lot of open road. There's no need for them to be hitting us. And we, oh, right, I'm over it. I'm over it. It's just, no, we're going to restart. We're going to restart. We're going to restart. We got this. We got this. We literally got this. This is, it just has to happen. We have to get cleaned out. We're not gonna let we're gonna we're gonna we're not gonna let that mess us up because of our own mistake. They have to hit us. That's different. Okay. It's a lot of open roads, so it's like a perfect opportunity for us to pass by them. Let's save our nitrous for like a big uh, moment. Yeah. Yeah, guys, it's just not meant to be for us. It's not meant for us to get that. Your opponents are putting up quite a fight. Uh, not really. I'm just trying to stay clean. Nicely done. But they won't let me stay clean, so it's whatever at this point. There's no way you're up here with me. Pull it out, my guy. I am fed to do nice the dash. Keep at it. Your first meet. I didn't get as far away as I wanted to, but I'm still up here, though. I'm still away. I got a nice reflex off the car too. Man, that's a really, that's a really neat feature. No, I mean, you would, I mean, every other like auto make, um, game automaker probably wouldn't even, they would think of that, but I think this looks pretty solid how they did this. Now that's real Lamborghini power. That's a nice Lamborghini. So I think that's the last one. I think now we are gonna head to the container. This was one high-end quality show. The car festival can't get any better than this. Astonishing cars, an idyllic venue, and last but not least, astounding skills. Yes, that's your driving I'm talking about. I believe you turned quite a few heads back there. I always turn heads because I'm, I just gotta like that. That's why a well-deserved reward is waiting for you back at the container. The Queen of the 90s. A car that owned the end of the 20th century. The 1999 Lamborghini Diablo GT. I was not expecting that. I thought we were gonna get like the Revolt. Now the you've Revolto. got the perfect retro supercar for a cruise down Waikiki Beach. Congratulations.
Diablo a Gia. I guess we'll do that one next. New playlist ahead. Let's go. Got that Diablo GT is looking very pretty. I don't know, very lovely and whatnot. But thank you guys so much for watching today. It's been a really fun one with the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini Euro is obviously my favorite vehicle out of this whole selection. They all beautiful. They all great in their own ways. But something about a that's super. Super, uh, super sports utility vehicle. It's just, it just, it touches my heart. I love it so much. But I will see you guys in the next episode of the Crew Motor Fest.